We had a lot of rain last night, over an inch. The creek in the front yard is moving pretty good. These guys are dry. They were in their spot and um, they're eating now. They're still, the girls, are, uh, the gray girls are still loving that nom nom stuff. Morris the chicken stripe came out from under the tarp, came out of their doghouse there. I tried to swap the flags out yesterday morning, but they were frozen. <laughs> Today they're wet. Eventually I'll get them swapped out. Slay's just over there in the woods a little bit. Yeah, he chased her, but we're good. I figure I'll walk him while I'm out here. I got my headgear on. Yeah, I'm thinking I got to get down there and cut back that brush so I can see my creek a little bit better. It's a piece of privet down there. And some honeysuckles, mostly what it is. But we had, like I said, a lot of rain. And the creek is moving pretty fast this morning. Lots of blooms on my camellia bush. I haven't heard the hawks yet, just a lot of blackbirds and crows this morning so far. You can see how wet it is out there. All of that does drain off into the creek, but it's pretty, it's pretty wet. Don was in here, I don't know, three years ago maybe, and had it 100% cleaned up. And it still looks really good. We've had a couple of trees or tree limbs come down. Trying to do better about walking. So y'all are helping. Tux and you guys are helping. Hey, I got the paper in the mail. The, the mailman's delivering something, but I don't know that he came to our house. I just seen him out there on the main wow, street. This is really good service. Look <laughs> at this. There you go. Thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. I'm just huffing a little bit after coming up yeah, the hill. I Tux, I didn't want to miss you being in the grass and Tux was on the, come on buddy. He was on the driveway so we stayed on, it's a little easier right. if I come up the grass. Of course it's really slick this morning so. Anyway, I walked. Done good for you, thank you. Trying to do that every day, at least once. I'm sure the last few sips of my coffee are cold now, but that's okay. So yesterday, you guys saw me deploy a Tesla caching car at the Mebbin Supercharger. Uh, actually, I put out two. One was Ruby and one was my Ruby red dress. Pictured here is Ruby. And I did not re-explain what Tesla caching was. I was probably a little remiss in not mentioning it. Um, so um let me just go uh click here this is the home page for tesla caching and apparently it's a north american thing uh, probably us and canada and um so you find these tesla hot wheels either you buy them at where if new at walmart or target or you go out on ebay or amazon and you buy them or i think the tesla caching site has uh, a few for sale that you can request uh, either come to you or they'll deploy it in your name one of the two um but anyway it's basically putting these hot wheels cars out there now it can be matchbox or it can be um any you know other kind of tesla car but mostly it's the model three 
um, in the last couple of years that came um, that have been, you know, like the ones I've been finding at Walmart. So when you come out to the website, if you want to deploy a car, um, you can uh, send a request to the Tesla caching website and say, hey, well, first off, you ought to look in the list. So if you come in here and suggest a name, um, uh, send us an email at teslacaching.com. Uh, but here you can suggest a name for ones that they might add. But I've, I've requested all of mine by going to teslacaching.com and just saying, hey, I, 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 want, I look in the list, make sure it's not already out there, send them an email, say I want this one and they'll let me know if I get it or not. But you can also make suggestions for ones they might deploy. And then, um, so if you wanna check on names that are out there, this North American car logs, and it is loading, it's just taking a minute to load here. I might be running a little low on storage. Um, come on. Yeah, it says waiting, it's still trying to draw it. These are all of the cars. And you'll see up at the top of this list is Ruby. Uh, she got logged in Greensboro yesterday, but somebody that moved her from Mebane to Greensboro. So that is, awesome, fantastic. But you could come in here and um, check on your, let's see if there's one named Lego, command F, type in Lego, and there's no car named Lego. So maybe in the future I should deploy Lego robotics or something, that would be kind of cool. Um, or EV3 or something if I was trying to, because there's a lot of names in play now, like most of the typical names are in play. Um, so I was really happy to see Ruby. If I search on Ruby, um, it's actually, it says it's in here five times, but I don't think it's all just Ruby. I also went and logged in that, um, which unfortunately it has today's date because I didn't do it yesterday when I was supposed to, but that she was in Mebane that I deployed her. I wish I could fix the date. And then um, Ruby Relaxer is got three listings and then Ruby. So um, I've also have deployed my Ruby, but of course, if it didn't show up before um, yesterday, my Ruby has not been logged. I should go ahead and log uh, my Ruby that I deployed that car yesterday. So let's log a car. You can see what the form looks like and what car did I find? And I'm going to type in, I'm going to do M and then you kind of just I don't think if you type the next letter, it helps. You just have to scroll down alphabetically. And my ruby red dress, and I'm just going to put Mebane. So it it doesn't it doesn't um, let you differentiate between I'm dropping it out for the very first time or I am um, moving it from uh, found it at, you know moved it along or whatever. But I put there. So my ruby red dress will be in the list of cars now. And uh, I guess it's got buy, buy a car and there's an Etsy store. Um, the Tesla caching has a store on Etsy. I'm not sure why Etsy over um, Amazon or uh, over um, uh, eBay. I don't know. Um, they're on Twitter. So uh, if you go look at Tesla caching, um, I guess this is just a feed of all of the stuff that's gone over to Twitter. They're also, um, or Instagram maybe, they're everywhere. They're, they're everywhere. So if I were to go over to, to Facebook, I would be able to find it. So you sort of want to um, look um, here. This will bring up Twitter. You sort of want to look here because someone that found your car might decide to post a picture of it. This is what they look like when you make them at home. You know, um, we did talk about them on the channel before where Don helped me drew a ho holes through the window and we made the tags and put them out. I was a little it's a little distressed at drilling the hole in the hot wheel, but you're going to leave them out in the weather anyway. And the whole point here is for fun. Um, they do have a QR code on the other side of that uh, tag. So um, that's how you know how to log it. If you, you know, if you haven't heard of Tesla, I'm trying to scroll here and see one that may show the other side of the tag. Um, yeah, see these show the test, the, uh, this guy here is showing the other side. It's got the QR code on it, which just leads back to the log your car website. So um, that's about all I wanted to say, except for maybe one other thing. Um, if I come in here and look at the log again and again, this was taking just a minute. The other only other car 
that we've put out in the wild that has really done anything good is Onyx. Onyx made it to Missouri, Melville, Missouri, and uh, was in lumber was deployed in Lumberton, NC. So I think Kyle may have deployed this one for me because I had handed Kyle some and Lafayette, Indiana. So that car went somewhere. Unfortunately, Sapphire um, made it to Myrtle Beach and then never made it anywhere else. Sometimes folks keep them and sometimes folks carry them to another supercharger and set them free like right away. And sometimes they um, hold on to them for a while and then they put them back in. I don't know. I have a car named Snow but just snow and that one is not out there. And then um, there was um, my Tesla model X journey. I deployed that car in Smithfield, but um, if somebody picked it up, they never redeployed it. So um, unfortunately I would love for my Tesla model X journey to be out there. I haven't made a jewels yet. I don't think so. I probably, if they put out model Ys, I'm going to grab a white one at Walmart and I'm going to deploy it as jewels if I, or some very, you know, Dawn's jewels or whatever I can do to get jewels out there as, um, as a name. Anyway, kind of a fun game. So if you didn't know, now you know. And um, maybe I can remember to check on Ruby and see um, if she goes any place after Greensboro. It's cleared up a little bit. And Don says we should probably go to the landfill because he won't have time during the work week. Right? You won't have time during the work week? Yeah, I'm probably going to be next. I'm just it's really busy. Yeah, just normally we wouldn't go on a Sunday, yeah. but will do it. Wow, it's a really pretty changing sky out there. Nice and bright right now. How warm is it? Or cold is it? 47. 47. So it's it not... pretty windy. It's windy, but it's not horrible low temperature since someone we know who's watching has single digits. We won't complain about 40 and windy. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, we're about three weeks away from winter's gone. That's right. Yeah, our growing season, March is usually not bad here after the first week. And our growing season is really in full swing in April. So I realize that the day to last frost is probably April 15th to May 1st here. But, you know, really, we, if we can get through the next three weeks, winter's gone. So adios, winter. I do not want to move somewhere where we have a shorter growing season. I am very happy with North Carolina's very short winter. I may complain about not having enough snow, but I wouldn't be willing to move any farther northeast than Roxboro, North Carolina to get any more snow, and I don't really want to move to Roxboro. That's that little town that whenever anywhere in North Carolina gets, gets snow, snow Roxboro gets Carolina, it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So but I'm not willing to, I don't really want to move anywhere. So we'll just whine about not having a six, one six inch snowfall here a year and leave it at that. So we're here on Old Honeycutt Road, which is our normal road to go to the landfill. And um, I'm pretty much going to bet that, um, I was going to say this crosswalk here, but there's not actually a crosswalk there. It was just wet water fooling my eyes. That trail we were on the other day, it's over here somewhere, and it's supposed to connect up, I believe. I don't know if it's supposed to connect up this school or not, but this subsidi uh, uh, subdivision, North Lake's here on the right, and then the school up ahead, it's supposed to connect up with those. Because that makes sense. They're on the correct side of the street. And then, of course, if you want to walk through the sub subdivision and cross the street there at the, ele at the brand new elementary school, um, you can. It would be really great if it said... It, well, it does not no outlet, but I'm going to go make this left. Right. It also was not listed up there, the trail. There was no, the trail is this way or whatever. I mean, they wouldn't want people to come into this neighborhood, I'm sure, to park to get on the trail. And this is just a cul-de-sac. So this really... But we'll check the other direction, too. I like that window, that front of that house there. That was pretty cool looking. These houses are, I'm going to say a smidge 
different or bigger than the houses in that neighborhood across the street from us. Some of these have three car garages, or a lot of them have two car garages, and the subdivision closer to us um, is usually a single car garage, or only a, I've never seen a three in there. So, these houses are just, I would say they're just yeah, a they're smidge bigger. bigger. They're bigger. They're bigger. This one's really different. Look at that roof line. I see Christmas lights. Even if they have to hire somebody to come and put them on the house, that roof line would look really well lit up. Community clubhouse and kayak launch and pavilion. Oh wow! Look at the water. Look at the water down there. See, I didn't know that was here. Huh? Well, I would say that's not the trail. No, right. What's that on the other side? Right. Of the creek There's on? another more houses on the other side over there, pretty far through the through the other side of the water. Yeah. There's certainly a possibility that's where the trail is going. Because yeah. we know it goes to the high school and we know they it's on this that. side of the road, so, well, yeah. They also said it's only two miles, so it isn't like it has a lot of, tr I mean. Can't meander too much. That's right. Maybe you can get around the water over We're here. Gonna We're gonna see. This is one big subdivision and it's all new within the last, I'm gonna say three years. It, this is, you know, these are all newish homes. And yeah, the water's really pretty over there. Yeah, well, there's the high school. We had this is going to be it down here. Because the high school's right through those wood, the back side. I of see the people school. walking or running over here to the side. Yeah. Community Clubhouse for North Lakes is to the right here, it says. We've we've gone this far. We're all in on this today. <laughs> Let me roll down the window and just. There was a nice little warning there. This is only for homeowners. I buy that. I mean, I'm sure. Yeah. So trail, and it went that way, but it doesn't go across. It didn't go across there. Because huh. it really looked like the trail came out of the woods on this side of the water. Well, it does appear that these people are getting a little value for their HOA fees. Yeah, I would say there's a trail there up on this side of the water where yeah, not so much. that's the community trail. That's a few quay Yeah, sign. that's a few quay sign. So there is the trail. Yeah, that's not a private, that's not private sign. Right, that was a town of few quay colored sign. Yeah. I couldn't quite read what it said. Now you can see the trail through the woods there. Yeah, I agree. When we walked, we saw this. Yeah, so that that is part... Well, that would be really... There's the trail right there. Right, that's what I said. I could see it through the woods there. Can you see what the sign actually says? It says... Green... Gain, Greenway System. Okay, well, that's the town Greenway, so I'm agreeing. So, we just got to figure out when, where, how we missed that it kept on going. Like, where's the expected path down here on the other end? Well, I, I don't know that the trail... The, the sign about private property warning you, I believe, is more for the lake. I agree. The, I the sign was for the lake, not the trail. And it was on the bridge where there was really no trail. So I guess what I'm trying to understand is when you come down here to the trail, 
where do they expect you to keep on going to head farther east to the high school? Is there just, is it here on the right? Did it really cross here? Because if it did, I missed it, that. Well, there would be another, no, that's just a parking area. Yeah, because this trail is all nice and paved. So you can certainly follow the trail across the bridge here. But then my question is, where does it continue on to the high school? Right there's the high school. It's like you said to get in the middle school. You have to walk on the sidewalk. So we're on the back side of the high school now? Yeah, or, oh, there. School. There's the trail. The trail continues there. I think the trail continues there behind these houses. That was the trail, though it's not marked there, so that wasn't super obvious. I think they need one more town, a Fuquay sign. I can't obviously tell if the trail is still back there, but I feel, I feel sure the trail is behind these houses in the woods somewhere over there. And then Don says this gentleman is obviously running on the trail. So you come out here. You come out of the trail yeah, there, and turn. then it makes this little turn around the cul-de-sac. Yeah. And then it goes that way and comes up on the back side. There's you can just football. see the oh, high see school. Yep, yeah, right you here. can see the high school. Yeah. Right there's the high school. That's and there's the runner. You can see his shirt, so he's going up to the high school. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll still go in the high school parking lot and just see where he comes out. but. It's meant to be two miles. It's not a loop. It's from the high school basically over to Club Works. Yeah. Club Works is pretty close to us. Obviously, the high school is not that close. Well, now, you have to be careful. The town said they put two, two miles in. And it's connected up with this subdivision stuff. The subdivision mileage might be in addition to the two miles. That's possible. And also, we are not in the town of Fuquay city limits here, I don't think. Pretty sure we're not. I mean, the high school over here is currently houses the Fuquay Verena High School students, but it's the brand new Willow Spring High School. Right, it's called, uh, that's right, Willow Spring. Michelle's oldest goes to that high school. Yeah, you can see the high school. I've closed my window now because of the noise and the um, cold, but you can see the high school there. So these houses here are going to back right up to the back side of the high school. And these lots have been sold. They've just not been built yet. Yeah, well, this is the last of the reasonable price house, housing in yeah. Yes, yeah, Don says Fuqua is one of the last developed places. Undeveloped. Yeah. Undeveloped. Yeah. Well, being developed. One of the last places to be fully developed. That's right. The rest of Wake County is pretty pretty, up. pretty busy. Yeah. It's a lot more water over here than I would have thought. Yeah. That's okay. I'll take my almost two acres don't have neighbors close and my cats can be in my backyard I'll, I'll take the spot where we are some of these homes are pretty though thank goodness they left this one older home I've always enjoyed looking at it I appreciate that that family didn't sell out it may have been their land there that the rest of the houses are on but they left themselves three or four acres and kept the old farmhouse so Fuquay Verena High School, soon to go back to Willow Springs High School. Yeah, well. This is soccer on this side. And I don't know, something else over here. Practice fields, I guess. This is the side of the old farmhouse. Yeah, this trail, as far as we understand, only uh, it, it ends at the high school. You can see the high school. The high school and the elementary school, they have the same architectural design. They look the same color bricks or whatever. They look like they go together. They're only about a half a mile apart. It's a retention pond. Yep. Like I said, there's a lot of um, water over here. Or the potential for water, too. Yeah, I would say this is where the trail is. Yeah. There's a little bit of cement here. Yeah, look right here. 
and then yeah this is where the trail so, ends yeah i agree and you can just see the house in the distance the neighborhood where we just drove through yeah. so it comes around up to the uh, i guess football that's a base field. baseball yeah. that's the baseball, baseball field. field the football's yeah. on the other cor yeah, front well, I corner i saw the scoreboard we saw the back of that scoreboard yeah so we were there you can go right and go out we can go right. you should be able to go right and out okay. yes this is where Johnny did his driver's ed. Yeah. So we were in and out of the parking lot a few times. Um, the driver's ed, they would start them in the parking lot and then when they got a little comfort, they'd take them out on the back roads over here. But this is the big, currently Bengals baseball field. I don't know what the mascot for the new Willow Spring High School is gonna be. Uh, you know, the, the, the Fuquay High School should be finished, I believe, for the start of the 2022 So you have a school choice. Year. It probably branches and goes up one way or the other, but this is awesome. Oh yeah, you can come out over here too. Yeah, yeah but when it gets to that, where that runner was, he probably could have made a choice which way to go. I agree. Yeah, and there is a little bit of a parking lot here, so I'm thinking if you want to come, this parking lot's obviously open today, but if you want to pick up the trail at this end on the weekend, parking over here is probably not going to get you in trouble. Right, now, by that. Kids probably come here to practice. People are probably in and out over there. There was a good 12-ish mm, parking spaces. And now we're back on the road that we would normally have turned on to to go yeah, to well, con continue on to the landfill. Wonder how far that sidewalk's gonna go some days. Right now, it just goes to that hill and drops off it to where the high school property stops. Yeah. When the high school developed this, they had to put that sidewalk in. Riding lessons, obviously, practice over here, and yeah. you can see the high school. Oof. And here's the big football stadium, football. Yeah. I lived a mile from my high school in Monroe which actually caused some problems when I was young about the bus being willing to pick me up or not pick me up. Thank Don for taking me exploring. I really enjoyed that, looking, you know, figuring that out. We will get on that trail one time with our mobility. I want to do this spring on a nice day, Don on his unicycle and me on my longboard. I can do the longboard safely at three to five mile an hour. Don then went on to say, which he's not saying, repeating now like I wanted him to, <laughs> is that uh, oh, too bad oh. we weren't in the Tesla. Right, um, did all that uh, exploring in the GMC. Yeah. That so, was uh, that meandering around, exploring your changes in your town. You're supposed to do that in an electric field. Right. Not supposed to be polluting. Sorry. Okay. I'm really surprised we're here. This is obviously the container site in Willow Spring and not the main uh, southwest Wake landfill over in Holly Springs, which we sometimes go to. There's nobody here. I just thought everybody that worked during the week brought their trash on Saturday and Sunday. Maybe because it's Super Bowl Sunday. People aren't bringing their trash on Super Bowl Sunday. One more piece of cardboard, apparently. The cardboard compactor is uh, this way. It has backed up a little bit. A couple of trucks that had, you know, more than less um, I'm gonna assume those couches aren't good enough to go to guardian angel otherwise it makes me want to be upset okay, so uh, there's now 10 maybe 15 I think it's actually out the end down there so our timing was perfect Don would have liked less oh yeah Don would have liked those people aren't going to be able to pull in would have loved less people to deal with because it got kind of crowded while he was out and about, but it wasn't bad. We, if we were coming now, it would be bad. Right. Ten, mi ten minutes apparently can make all the difference. I thought maybe they weren't a lot of people because of uh, Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. No, that's, yep. guys are actually finishing up work now. Yeah, it's getting to... close to, to people caring about pregame. Yeah, exactly. The sun coming out got a lot of guys you know kind of got you moving that way it was all rainy and yucky went the winds died down it's really not bad out there now at all yeah yeah we're not stopping today because he's not open probably right. if we'd have called he might would have met us we didn't think about right. it but and we have, we have three dozen eggs so yeah, we're good there's my stripe buddy now look at Mr. Don's going to come up here and he's going to work for a few minutes. And I know you're going to get a little scared and you're going to go hide. And after he's done work and then I'm going to feed you, I want you to be hungry so you'll come back. 
and he's not doing it to scare you okay it's not on purpose to scare you so Don's got some of the stuff from up the hill down and he's gonna see how much this fills up the GMC and then maybe go back for a little bit more we will get it all taken off just maybe not all in one trip Although maybe you're right, maybe it is better to just make a special trip. But I, I really, it'll be next weekend before I can go. Yep, I understand. I hear Don getting to use a power tool. That's right. <laughs> you know, Don is efficient, so there's no way he's going to put that big piece in there. He's going to get it up into smaller pieces so he can fit more. That's just the way Don works. Guacamole made, decided to make deviled eggs, getting started on the wings, and I see you found a second wheelbarrow up there. <laughs> yeah. Now Johnny's got two wheels. And axles or something, huh? Cool. You surviving down there? What? You surviving? Yeah. He's cleaning those couple of things out for me before he comes in since he was all dirty from the landfill anyway. I told him I really don't care about stuff up on the bank. I just wanted to be able to see the pretty waterfall area. So, because he's the wonderful guy that he is. But I got pina colada mix ready. The wings are in progress. All kinds of munchies. And I promise not to make him leave his cow until it's time to serve up ice cream. If he'll, uh, after he's done all this nice stuff. The, the GMC is like two-thirds full. It's pretty full. We could add a few things. Hey, buddy. Hey, how are you? Hey, buddy. Do I want to know how wet you got in the creek? No, I, I think I did okay. Just the boo-boo on your nose. Yeah, it, uh, one of the branches or something swiped across my face. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. you're bleeding. I know. I'm what sorry. Does it look better? Oh, I think it noticeably better. Uh, thank you. I, uh guess that was your uh, run today. Your alternate yeah. exercise today. Yeah, I, I got a little bit of exercise today. Yeah, definitely the, um, what they say, the more muscles twitching that you can do, you know, <laughs> the better. So I got a lot of extra muscle twitching that I don't normally do today. You <laughs> Bending, know, stooping, stretching. Pulling. Yeah. yeah. Vibrating. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. That. <laughs> Except Poor again. Dottie. Yeah, it's okay. See, I am letting him sit down to enjoy the Super Bowl. That's He's right. starting out with guac. He's yeah. got his pina colada. He's all cleaned up from his shower. And um, we're about 10 minutes behind, so we don't miss any good commercials. Right. Um, these are not our teams. And I think it would be safe to say that we're rooting for anybody that can beat Tom Brady. Yeah, I guess that's right. Yeah. So um, Don says there was a commercial really? I was going to care about. Let's here, see. Here it comes. What was it? In the U.S. Norway. Oh, here, let me just back it up. Oh, was that the middle of the commercial? It's cute. You got to see the whole thing. Okay. Norway commercial. Here it comes. Doritos. Now 3D. Did you know that Norway sells way more electric cars per capita than the U.S.? Yes, I did. <laughs> well, I won't stand for it. With GM's new Ultium battery, we're going to crush those blue juice. Crush them! Kids, what's this? Oh, it's my daughter's birthday. Right here. Grab an EV if he be in Norway. Grab an EV. Hey, Papa Pete, the Papa Norway's beating us at EVs. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Meet me there in an hour. And I'm right with you? No. GM's Ultium battery is made for all types of vehicles. Student, everyone can drive an EV. Well, it's probably flying private. <laughs> Love it. Oh, this place is adorable. Damn it. Where are you guys? We in Finland. Where are you? I'm in Norway. Norway? You're in Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> How many new EVs by 2025? Was that 30? 30, huh? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Sure. And then it's followed by a Star Trek commercial. Yes. Uh, I'm impressed they took out an ad about EVs. Yeah, that Seriously, was Will Ferrell. That, that He's was, big, big I mean, guy. seriously, right? 
but 30 by 2025 that seems a lofty goal to me and well if they fall a little short even to do 20 that'll be a, or 10 yeah maybe 10 right so okay but that's a good that's a good goal yeah, well uh, by then the cyber truck will be out so you know and the well, semi will be on the road and so i think tesla will have a battery for all evs too yeah. just saying well, it reminds me of you know volkswagen that they're following the volkswagen strategy which is do press releases seven to ten years before you <laughs> ship your first car. Right. And talk about all the great cars you're going to do in five years or six but years. But still, we had an EV commercial during that's the Super right. Bowl. That's right. That's a big button. It was a full 60 second. Not one of those like 30 seconds. I just wondered ones. if Bjorn had ever, if, uh, excuse yeah. me, Will Ferrell had ever watched Bjorn's videos. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's all I could think about the whole, like every Tesla person yeah. that ever watched any Tesla oh, you're YouTubes you're immediately Sweden. thought of Bjorn. Well, I don't know. All right. Are they done? I think they're looking okay. All right. They cooked for 40 minutes, plus they were, you know, pan fried in advance. So, yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah, thinking I they're good. That one in until we get that one out of Oh, there's that creamy goodness. Super Bowl party ice cream. Yo, ho, ho.